happens when a top financial regulator is accused of having a conflict of interest in a major market scandal. Well, in this edition of V on Decodes, we will be breaking down a high-stakes drama involving SEBI, India's financial watchdog and a US short-seller Hindenburg Research. This is Madhavi Puri Butch, chairperson of SEBI. Appointed in March 2022, she made history as SEBI's first female chairperson. But her journey in finance began way earlier. She is known for her roles at ICICI Securities and her international stints in Singapore. But here's the twist. On August 10, 2024, Hindenburg Research, a well-known US short seller, made a major allegation against her. It claimed that Madhavi Butch and her husband Dhawal Butch invested in an offshore fund linked to the Adani Group, one of India's largest conglomerates. The interesting thing is SEBI has been investigating Adani for stock price manipulation after earlier allegations made by Hindenburg. But what's all the fuss about? Well, Hindenburg alleges that the Butch couple's investment in the IPE Plus fund, a Mauritius-based offshore fund, has ties to Vinod Adani, who is the brother of Adani chief Gautam Adani. Hindenburg is also suggesting that they influence SEBI's policies on real estate investment trusts to benefit her husband's role at Blackstone a major REIT investor. The couple responded by saying their investment was made back in 2015, well before her SEBI's appointment. They also insist that their fund never invested in Adani companies and all that required disclosures were made. Dhawal's job at Blackstone, they argued, had no bearing on SEBI's decisions. You might be wondering about the fallout. Now SEBI is trying to reassure investors and the stock market hasn't reacted dramatically. But the controversy has sparked calls for a joint parliamentary committee probe, with questions being raised about whether Butch fully disclosed her investments and whether there were any conflicts of interest in the Adani investigation by SEBI under her leadership. The Supreme Court of India has supported SEBI's handling of the Adani case so far, but this fresh controversy has led to new petitions and further scrutiny. One such petition is seeking an independent judicial inquiry, but the key issue remains, were there any undisclosed conflicts of interest? As the situation develops, both investors and the public are eager for transparency. What do you think about the allegations? Drop your comments below.